Hey y'all, uh, it's Christine. How y'all doing? Um, I kind of wanted to start a video on this. Um, I'm kind of halfway, I've already started it, but I thought I'd share with you guys kind of the process of what I'm trying to do. I've never done it before. I had this idea, I was just kind of rough sketching something and decided that I wanted to put it on a skateboard. So I had this skateboard, see? It's a skate deck. It's a, I, I got it from a local shop. It was just wood um, with a little like a clear coat on it and a, a graphic on it. So I, I lightly sanded it with about 250 grit uh, sandpaper, um, spray painted it white once, sanded it back down, and I just put my second coat on it. Um, and so I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna start using, um, I got gloss. Apparently I saw somewhere in a video that you use gloss. So I'm gonna use this like tannish color as the background. And hopefully um, I'm gonna try the soap. There's like a soap technique where you, you know, put like just soap on it and spray it off. We'll see how that works out. Anyway, wish me luck. So I've sprayed, I've painted it once and I'm gonna go give it a second coat. Hopefully that, that second coat is all it'll need. There it is. Kind of looks white, but hopefully it'll come out good. All right. So I've got the board prepped. It's already painted. It's totally dry. And I'm gonna try the soap thing. So supposedly you can take dish soap, doesn't matter, I guess, whatever kind, and I'm gonna yeah. kind of drizzle it over it. And then while it's wet, I'm gonna spray. I've got two different colors here. I've got, this is gonna be the, at the top. And then this one's gonna be at the bottom. So it'll be like a, um, like a gradient all the way down. So I'm gonna give this a try. Tripod. So supposedly I have to let it the paint dry enough to make sure it's dry, but then at the same time hose off the soap. So I don't know. <laughs> this is so cool. like the background all right so next step is to let the board dry and then I have some graphite paper so I'm gonna um, once the board dries I'm going to tape the graphite paper to the board and then trace my sketch <laughs> on it see y'all in probably tomorrow hey guys so I um, I printed out my sketch that I'm gonna put on the board um, I had I had sketched it out on paper uh, a week ago and then I brought it into Photoshop and Illustrator and um, kind of colored it in so I could see what colors I wanted and it's obviously it's too big to print on a normal eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper so I when I printed it I simply tiled it to three different sheets which I thought was pretty cool it only took three sheets and uh, so now I'm just gonna go cut around the edges and um, tape them together so I can I can tape it on top of the graphite paper and trace it onto the skate deck. So here we go. Okay, 
I got my scissors and I'm just going to cut all the white pieces off from around the pages. Doesn't have to be perfect. cool super cool skate deck that I did you can see that there's um where the soap some of the soap got left on a little too long it created this kind of like little bit of a grittier I don't know if you can see it's a little like grittier texture but it's my first time doing it and it's actually I don't mind a little bit of grit <laughs> um you can see some of the I think next time I'll, I'll probably rinse it off a little bit sooner but all in all I'm, I'm really happy with how that turned out. So now I'm gonna go find my uh, graphite paper so I can put it on top and then we'll stick this guy like so. Hopefully it turns out good. <laughs> I bought this graphite paper, no particular brand in particular. Um, I just found it at Michael's. So we're gonna give it a try. There we go. So next step is to uh, just trace it. So I found my daughter's pencil and it's one of those smelly kind. So if you smell it, <laughs> if you could smell it, it smells like maybe like blueberries. I'm not sure. Either way, it's fun. Most of it. Let's see what happened. <laughs> How cool is that? I guess uh, our next step now is to paint it. And, uh, so right now I just got some of my paint ready. Um, I don't use any kind of fancy brushes or anything like that. It's kind of whatever I can find um, at the time that I'm looking because between my bad habits and the kids, they don't last very long anyway. So I just got some, some whatever brushes from the store. And uh, um, I'll show you in a second, but my sophisticated paint palette is a, uh, it's a paper plate. <laughs> and I put water in it and wax paper over it. Um, just because I like the way it helps the, the paint stay kind of wet and it goes on a little bit easier. So um, nothing fancy. I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to start um, putting some of the white on the goat's face and then uh, the beige around the banner. So I'm going to try to start lighter and then kind of add in darkers as I go. We'll see. All right. All right. So here we go. Oh, I'm going to show you. Super fancy schmancy paint palette. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to start with the white. Let's get some of this going here.
Okay, so we're all done and I'm getting ready to clear coat it. So I'm all done. Um, the old salty goat <laughs> uh, ended up turning out pretty good, I think. I was pretty excited about um, how the, the end result turned out. Uh, anyway, I just thought I'd say thank you for joining me in all this. Tell me what you think. Um, if you have any tips, like I said, I'm, you know, I'm always learning. So uh, if I did something wrong or if I should have done something or if you, know, if you know of a quicker way to do something, by all means, um, just let me know. All right, guys, thank you so much, and I'll catch you next time. See ya.